Recently, while doing some maintenance work on a PC, something really stupid happened to me. I accidentally shorted out SysFan1 and the transistor that is associated with it immediately blew. This video will show how I fixed this. What happened was that I had a loose SATA cable which accidentally made contact with the SysFan1 and it shorted it out and the transistor immediately went up in flames. Because it's so heavily burned, without a microscope it's not even readable what part it is. But under the microscope I was able to make out that it's a PO6PO3 p-channel MOSFET. It's a MOSFET in a SOT89 package. Because this part is rather hard to come by, I'll replace it in this video by a IRLML5203, which is also a p-channel MOSFET, but in a SOT23 casing. There are two small SMD resistors next to the transistor. They are in 0402, so they are very small. And I fear that during removal of the transistor with my reworking station, I might blow those away. So at first, I'm going to measure them. One of them is a 2.7 and the other one a 3.6K resistor. I'll now try to remove the transistor using my reflow station with hot air. As you probably noticed, this went pretty horrible because I didn't remove the transistor, but only the package. Under the microscope, you can actually see the exposed dye now. I went in with more heat and as you can see, things quickly went from bad to worse. As I feared, I accidentally desoldered two of those resistors. Now I'll first have to reattach them before I proceed. This is a look on the PCB after I reattached both resistors. As you can see, the PCB is in really bad shape and some of the PCB traces are starting to detach from the board. So instead of stressing the PCB more, I decided that I won't remove the transistor and instead put a blob of solder on top of the die and solder my adapter on there. This is a look at the adapter board I'll be using with the SOT23 part on top. I first tack the SOT23 in place. Here's what it looks like after it's been tacked down. Then I take three pieces of 0.3 mm enameled copper wire and solder them to drain source and the gate. This is a look through the microscope of the adapter after it's been soldered down. I've soldered the adapter to the mainboard and before I'm going to glue everything down with hot glue, I will first test it. My fear is that I won't be able to remove the hot glue again without damaging the PCB even further and ripping away traces. Again a look through the microscope where you can see how I soldered the traces on. The solder joints aren't exactly pretty, but I think they'll do their job nicely. I've now booted the PC and by writing to a file within the sysfs file system, I can change the PWM value that sets the fan speed. This value ranges from 0 to 255 and is currently at 100. The fan speed is read back at 800 RPM. If I now increase this PWM value to 255, you see that the fan speeds up and the readback RPM value is 2000 RPM. When I now change the PWM to zero, you'll see that the fan stops. The only thing left to do now is to gunk up everything with hot glue really well so that the traces don't accidentally rip off during use. This repair might not be aesthetically pleasing, but it really does work and that made me really happy especially when it had me quite a bit out of my comfort zone when things really went bad and I accidentally desoldered those resistors and I ripped off the package and everything. So all in all, I'm really happy with that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I thank you very much for watching. Maybe you'll tune in the next time. Until then, bye.